Um, when you were standing on the um, platform accepting your award, your fist was in the air. Explain the 1968 Olympics with the fist in the air. What did that mean for the team and for America? The fist was a sign of a brother, brother to brother, power to power, power to the people. Mm -hmm. Um, I had on black socks. Uh, we were told not to uh, raise our fist up um, during the uh, raising of the American flag mm -hmm. and the anthem. Mm -hmm. And so we had had that problem with Tommy Smith and John Carlos uh, raising their hand and they were actually dismissed and threw out the Olympic Village, threw them out, they had to go home. and so. Uh, a lot of things that came down uh, through that uh, because of what they did. However, uh, I feel that um, that they expressed something that was misinterpreted. Mm -hmm. um, what we stood for then was coming back to America after winning a gold medal and there were no jobs being offered. There were no, uh, as a matter of fact, racism within the housing developments and things like this. You couldn't uh, live in a certain place. Um, uh, and some people ended up, uh, and probably uh, uh, most of the guys that uh, were in the black power movement uh, heavily in, had some problems. Uh, going back to San Jose, mm -hmm. which was uh, Tommy Smith, uh, John Carlos, Lee Evans. Mm -hmm. uh, those guys really had a heck of a struggle after the games were over. But you didn't. Uh, I kind of uh, disappeared. Um, my thought was uh, they wanted us to boycott, and my thought was, you know, I had worked so many years mm -hmm. to get there, and this wasn't about um, um, I guess uh, being uh, being black because I know what my blackness is. Uh, I know what the discrimination is. But it was a chance for me in my own individual effort, nobody helping me, just me and my body. Um, it was um, a beautiful experience to be able to show the world what I had worked so hard for it. And so I think that uh, uh, the politics and things, I think, got mixed up in it, and it just made it um, uh, very, very strange, uh, because uh, the <coughs> president of the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, his name was Avery Brundage, um, who I don't know much about him, but um, he was very harsh on uh, African-American movement in this country in terms of uh, saying that politics has no way in, 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 in the sport and that we better uh, uh, not bring politics into it, which is the black movement. Mm -hmm. And so there was a lot of controversy over and over and over. And, and for us to have the greatest team to ever be assembled, um, uh, it looked like we were going to lose our chance because they wanted us to boycott and I didn't want to boycott.